Hey everyone. Last weekend, things were pretty darn serious and President Trump decided to ban people traveling to America from Iran and Somalia and some other countries, essentially because they're predominantly Muslim places. I suppose we could maybe try to find some positives in it all. Perhaps the US will now formally recognize Palestine as a country in order, you know, so that Trump can then presumably ban Palestinians from traveling to America. Uh, curiously, Saudi Arabia did not make the cut, though. It's a brutal Islamic theocracy with regular executions and outrageous human rights abuses in the name of strict Sharia law. But uh, Trump apparently looked to place up and down, opened his report card, and wrote, must try harder next time, C-. minus. Curiously, Sudan was on the list, but not South Sudan. Uh, Trump's in his 70s mind. Uh, perhaps he's still got Microsoft and Carter installed and is therefore completely unaware that the country actually became two countries a couple of years ago. And talking about places dividing up, uh, Brexit passed its foot in Westminster this week, so we're a few yards further into that old steeplechase that is getting the legislation sorted out and then figuring out which cabinet minister can make the most money flogging books on the subject at railway stations. Uh, I imagine that Theresa May wishes that she too could whip out the old gold sharpie and just get things over and done with in a weekend with an executive order, uh, like they seem to do in America these days. See you next week.